Welcome to the tutorial, my name is Jonathan, and today I'm be helping you with the basics of Blender. So, you've opened your scene, and you don't know how to navigate, and what this is, and this is... Well, let me explain. This is the camera, this is a lamp, this is a cube. Now you want to know, okay, how, how do I navigate? If you hold your middle mouse button, you rotate around your scene. You can zoom in by just scrolling, very easy, and you want to pan, it's, you hold shift, and then you can pan, left to right, up and down, sideways, diagonal, very easy, as you can see, by this little demonstration. So, what's next? What, what's this? You know, these arrows, what's, what's this green line and all the lines? Okay, this is the grid. It's the... It's the zero space. Because you have you have here the 3D cursor, which is at zero zero zero. It's the absolute middle point of your scene. And this grid is just an identification for you. This is uh the ground. See it as the ground, it's zero. And you want to be modeling at the ground for various uh things. Like you're modeling a tank and you want it to be at uh on the ground, you can uh import a plane. Or you could use this grid, which is a little bit see-through. Very useful. Okay, these arrows. This is the pivot. You can change the pivot here. So now you can rotate. And now you can scale. Very, very simple. Going back these steps is Ctrl Z. So if you can see, it's now back. So, next. You want more than this cube. So how do you do that? Or if you hold shift and then click on A, you get this menu called add. And you can add curves, surfaces, metaballs, even texts, armature, le lattice. But it's for animation. This is, this is way more complicated than needed. Today we're go just going to tackle mesh and, and well, what shall we do? A UV sphere. So as you see, UV sphere is here. Another the zero 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 that's because if you add mesh it will be spawned at the 3d cursor if the 3d cursor was at zero 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 right now and i add another uv sphere and delete the cube you see that's at zero 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 if you scroll up you see zero 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 so now we've added mesh and and what if we have some uh, mesh right there and then we're busy here and we want to focus on that one and we can pan right there but then the zoom is, is getting real funky and oh no what have I done you can hit the dot at your number pad with the lead under it and then it will focus and reset your camera so now you can zoom nicely again and, and pan and, and turn so it's not that funky anymore it's well f it was funky but it's not what you want it's it's uh, holding you back it's it's slowing you down so this will only speed up things focusing focusing there oh i hit zero yeah zero is the shortcut for the camera so focus on this mesh we're going to edit it very cool you can do that with tab go to edit mode you can change the shape okay we're going to make this bigger very cool scaled it up the shortcut is s by the way we've got also we've also done like this so we have a uv sphere with a sombrero now in object mode object mode is, is purely for uh, modif modifying objects and edit mode is modifying the object but only that object Object mode is more for uh, uh, fitting all the objects together to make a tank, for example. Like you got a fuel tank, which is a separate object, and you got the track, which is a separate object, and, um, and the wheels and the turret. Those are separate objects, but in those objects, you can edit it to make the shape correctly. That's the difference between the two. If this tutorial helped you, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, um, let me know why I'm curious. I'm always trying to improve my uh, 
tutorial skills. So, have a great day. See you next time.